Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. If you've been wondering why it's taken Facebook so long to make a decent Android application, the one we have is not very good, you'll be wondering why it's taken even longer to make a good tablet app and they just haven't done it, right? So we're actually seeing some decent third-party ones now. And a new one that's in beta is Friendcaster, and it's actually pretty darn good. So if you fire it up here, it's in beta, it's got ads on it, you can close the ads fortunately, but they are pretty annoying. I think if I were going to use this full time, I would certainly spring for the uh, paid version and get rid of the ads. But here you go, it's your basic kind of pained uh, system here. We've seen this with a bunch of Twitter apps as well. So you scroll through your uh, timeline here, somebody has something you want to see, tap it, pops up here on the right. Same thing with images. And then if you tap the image, it opens up. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. Back takes you back. So you get your news feed, your profile, your friends. Remember it's in beta, so sometimes it takes a little longer to load up. That's nice, I like how they've done that. If you wanna see somebody say, there's there's Aaron Baker from Phone Dog. If you wanna see Aaron, tap him, pull him up in another pane. Again, nicely done. Now there's the ad again, so yeah, that's annoying. Photos. So you have a choice in photos, you can see your albums, or you can see your friend's recently updated albums. And same sort of thing. So let's just pull somebody up here. Maybe somebody who won't mind. All right, we'll pull up one of mine, how about that? Here's an old one of mine from when I used to keep my daughter in a cage. That was my first daughter, we don't keep the second one in a cage anymore. And you can actually uh, scroll through it, and that's really, really nicely done. What else we got? Check-ins. So you can do check-ins straight from the tablet. We'll get a map. Messages, groups, events, pages, everything you've liked. Cool. So if you go back to the news feed, you got some options up here. Plus, you can leave your status. Makes sense. You can have a filter for uh, various groups that you belong to. Photos, so you can take a photo, which we are not going to do. Let's see if we can even get out of this, okay. You can upload a photo or video. Refresh, notifications, and preferences up there where they should be in Honeycomb, so that's nice to see. And then news feed screen backlight, shake to refresh, that's cool, pull to refresh, so if you pull down it'll refresh the uh, news feed, notifications, inboxes, birthdays, all that stuff, you can turn on and off whatever you want. All in all, a really, really nice Facebook app for Honeycomb. Hey look, I have a new friend request, aren't I special? All in all, a really nice Honeycomb Facebook app, and look forward to this one coming out, uh, and I could pay for it, so I can get rid of that stupid ad! <laughs> Alright everybody, we'll see you later.